Very good, very good. Let's keep going, Ben. Great. Now, this was a crossed aldol condensation. How did you know that we were going to form the enolate out of this right-hand compound and not the left-hand compound? Well, you saw that there was no alpha hydrogens here. Now, we have still one more question. How do we know that when this forms an enolate, it's going to prefer to attack this aldehyde instead of attacking another version of this ketone? After all, only some of these are going to form enolates. So how do we know that these enolates are going to prefer to attack the aldehyde and not the ketone? Because of... Uh it has the more, it has the stronger delta positive than. Who has the stronger delta positive? That, uh, aldehyde. That's right. Because it doesn't have this uh, an electron donating group here. This has so many electron donating groups that it's not very electrophilic. So this is a well set up crossed aldol condensation where we really only have to worry about one major product. This will form an enolate, and this will be the electrophile. And I notice that you're actually recopying these models when you're doing this. That's a good habit if you're having any trouble with this, just to follow the models so you can match things up. Yeah, that really helps. And you're putting in numbers. That's a good idea, too. The first step here is just to show the alpha carbon attached to the asterisk, and then the numbers tell you who the alpha carbon's attached to. It's attached to the number one on one side, and it's attached to the number three on the other side. That way we know we got the right carbons. OK, well, um, we spent a long time on aldol condensation, because that's sure to be a major topic on the exam. And now the next thing that you need to do is go forth and do many practice aldol problems on your own. So hopefully you'll have, you have a lot of those that were assigned to you. And hopefully at this point those problems will make sense or the answer key will make sense if you get stuck on this. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too strong about this, but I feel much better that we spent so much time on it. So. Good. Well, uh, another really important topic in this chapter is the Clayson condensation. Okay, so let's move on to that. Now, the aldol condensation is when one aldehyde ketone attacks another aldehyde ketone. Okay. The Clayson condensation is when an ester attacks another ester. Okay. So you can see that's what we have here, one ester attacking another ester. And this will have some important differences from the aldol condensation. Well, here's our reagents. Let's see if we can come up with the first step. What, what do you think, let's just describe in words first, what do you think might, might happen first here? Uh, you're going to get a deprotonation of an alpha uh, hydrogen on an alpha carbon. Yeah, so far it's very similar to the aldol condensation. Let's show the mechanism and the intermediate from that step. Is about what might be a reasonable next step. Then the, um, the nucleophilic carbon is going to attack the, uh, the electrophilic carbonyl carbon. That's exactly right. Let's show the mechanism and the product from that step.
So that was a good way of coming up with that. Sorry? Since it's a carboxylic derivative, we know that it wants to reform its carbonyl carbon. Great. So there's going to be a leaving group which I identified. Great. And it doesn't need to be. So you put in some numbers that helped you to make sure you weren't adding or dropping carbons here. So this is a complicated intermediate, but you got this correct. You saw that the alpha carbon here is attacking our star carbon, and then you use the numbers to get this right. And you were right about what was going to happen next, too. So let's see if we can get those details. Oh, that's next step, look like. So you've correctly identified this as the L group. Mm -hmm. So one thing that you've done that's very good is that you've mentally moved out of thinking of aldehydes and ketones. We're not thinking about the four categories of attack on aldehydes or ketones. Now we're dealing with a carboxylic acid derivative, which is a whole different mechanism, the addition elimination mechanism. And we know that for carboxylic acid derivatives, we always have to identify the L group. And it's good that you identified this as the L group. Well, let's see if we can come up with the mechanism for the next step. Everything you said was right. That's fun. stop and talk about what will happen next, but that's good. Well, we still have another, um, there's still another hydrogen on the uh, alpha carbon. Right. So uh, we could do it again, could we not? You're on the right track. Let me uh, catch up with you, but you're on the right track. Show that. 